What's going on guys, Plastic Beach X3 back here with another One Piece Local Duel video and this time we have the finals of the first OPO3 Locals in the box tournament. The decks are my friend on the left playing Zoro and me on the right playing Katakuri. He makes me go first and I pass and then he'll play a buggy with on the first buggy. Search for a guard point on the second buggy and pass turn. I'll swing five at life, he'll take it and then I'll play Piro Sparrow, pass turn. He goes five at life. I'll take it. Hit a Shirahoshi, draw three, trash two. Discard 10 drop and Thunderbolt. Already have a 10 drop in my hand, so I don't need a second in this matchup. Uh, never gonna get a chance to play two usually, unless they're playing Whitebeard. Uh, he plays Izo, search for a Jozu. And obviously we're both undefeated at this point. I believe this was like a 22 man tournament for the box, for an OPO one box, and this is the finals. Plays another uh, Izo to search a blocker Marco, and then <clears throat> a Curly whiff, but that's fine because he filled his board. Uh, I'll hit five Dawn. Go five at life with Paraspera, he'll take it. Five at life with Katakuri, he'll take it. Play Sanji, 2k counter, and then play uh, Peck Arms 3, drop 5k vanilla. Just to get, you know, contest his bodies on board next turn. Go five and a pair of spare. I'll counter the first one. I just want him to tap more cards. Five at pair of spare. I'll counter. And then I'll let it die as soon as he taps three. The three that I can clear next turn. Search for a pudding. And then he'll go another one. So I'll go five into life. I'll counter out with the pudding I just searched. I believe he says pass, but then I was like, are you sure you want to pass? And he swung with leader. I'll take it. So I'm on seven Don. Um, I'll just go two into an Izo with Shirahoshi. He'll let it die. Five into Buggy. Use the effect to draw a card and then replace my life. I'll go five into the other Buggy. It dies. Uh, yep. And then five into the Curly. Let's it die. And then I play another Peck Oms. As long as the only thing I can do for three Dawn. Pass turn. So now I have control of the board. And I'm threatening game next turn. If he doesn't do something about it. Or if he like tries to fill up his board again. So like it's preventing him, this long board of mine is preventing him from filling up his board essentially. He'll go six, I believe into Peckham's on 2K. Another five, six into Peckham's. I'll let that one go. And then another Zoro into the Sanji. Last turn. So swung tempo back in his favor. Let's go kill the Izo. Swing into a Zoro for five. He'll guard point. 
and then seven drop big mom he'll trash a life and then um i'll leave two up for ikaku sovereignty for buggy with seven at peck arms it dies seven at life I'll take it no trigger seven at life I'll go Ikaku And then Marco Blocker. And an Ezo. Search for a Teach. Pass turn. One life, one blocker. I'll go five into the Zoro. Because I can't just can't kill on this turn. Eight into the Zoro, he'll block and save. And then ten drop. I think I have three cards in hand, four cards in hand. He'll go seven at life, take it, no trigger. Seven at life, take it, trigger Kaku Sovereignty. Discard two to gain a life, discard Katakuri and Kaku Sovereignty. It's the luckiest Kaku Sovereignty of my life. I was probably dead otherwise. Seven at life. Take it, no trigger. Seven at life, I'll 2k, 1k. Retire buggy to play Machino, boost Ezo up to five and then six with leader, so six. I have to 2k that or I lose to the Marco. Pass turn with two Dawn up. Snap a Thunderbolt, hit the Marco. I kept that Thunderbolt in my hand through all those counters. Uh, so it's not like I just top decked it, but still kind of lucky. And it's pretty much a game from here. You just swing nine. He goes in, uh, plus five and then 12 and it's GG. So I got the game in the box. GG to that guy. Make sure to subscribe to Plastic Beach X3 for more One Piece videos. Peace out.